how you doing? It's Mick Tully for Wyman TV and with the one and only Phil Norman. And where's my stunt double when I need him? Because unfortunately I've got this and the bad guy always has this. And unfortunately when you've got this and you're a pretend bad guy, remember that, and you're with Phil Norman, it's not going to end up good for Mick me. Mick Tully's going to go to sleep now. Oh, I tell you what, I've just, well, Alderaan, I've just heard a million voices cry out, uh, all with joy. So, over to you, Okay, Phil. yeah, no, so, um, what we're looking at now is we look at the stats, uh, dealing with knife attack is normally an ambush type of thing at the moment. Um, attack is usually rear hand retention, lead hand is holding, pushing or grabbing, and then you're getting like a sewing machine type of effect, yeah. where it's going at different angles up and down, so, you know, it's difficult to, to try and get an attachment on this one, especially on this on this uh, position like this. Yeah, so if we do this side, then you can see. Right. And you're a lot stronger on here. Uh, bearing in mind, so I'm going from the perspective of instead of working out in, we'll look at it from out, so for, from in out, as in I've been stabbed first. So it's, I'm having a real bad day with situational awareness. I'm, you know, I'm not on it, I haven't got, haven't got it, I had an argument or what, just not with it. And then you're getting shanked from that position here and you start from here. And so now it's down to a stopwatch. I've got so long before I go to sleep, before a shot comes in and I'm going to pass out and be able to do nothing about it. So it's literally from here. If I'm trying to stay on this one, this is okay, but you're going to be stronger and have better mechanics in here just to rip out and just keep sticking this into me and keep working this one here. I'm on a losing game. So although my focus is on this, this here is the actual problem here. So from, from this position here, I again start stabbing from here. I need to get on here to the back. So I'm getting onto the back either through here or on here onto that position there. And the knife itself, I'm gonna try and, if I get on that, is just try and turn your wrist slight, just to give me a slight advantage, so you can't muscle out within a second I need to do this. And drive you down here. From this position here, you're still up, that knife's still up. So on my toes behind me, I'm gonna push my toes and my hips into you, just to flatten you out on the floor and keep hold of this one. And now from this position here, you're gonna to go to sleep. And the best disarm for me is unconsciousness, so right here. Roger, 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 roger. I just drive that in to that position there. Well, I'm happy that you're asleep or you know, inactive now. Then I have to start thinking about myself. So from there, I might still do that knife, but I'm gonna have a look around and scan first of all. I need to take a big breath and just slow myself down. And now I have to think about my own uh, state of health in so much as I might need to start to check myself for other bleeds apart from the one that's obvious and thinking about saving my life now. So getting on the phone and then getting somewhere where Someone can save my life. The problem being is if I don't do this, I might pass out and he might come round. And that's the, the issue of morality you've got to think about regarding as to what happens to this person. I'm trying to pass this and get to the back here, whether I reach here or here. And yeah, I'm, you say, oh, you might get your hand cut. I've been stabbed already. So it's, it's, it's about how long I can stay conscious for and deal with you. From this position here, just turn around next one. I'm going to switch and seat drop. Now, again, a really big fella, you can still very easily just drop down over your knee without any effort. Now I'm here, my toes are just gonna drive me forward into the floor. And if I keep hold of the knife, the weapon hand here, just come up slightly, or here, then that did, did, did tells me which hand I'm gonna use to put him to sleep with. Because this one's gonna stay on, or this one's gonna try and stay on. So if this one stays on, I'm looking at getting a position here, head up high, and hammer a fisting back down. If it's this one here, I'm in a position here where I can open up here and then just drop elbows to the back of the head. But I need to put the brain stem to make him go to sleep, ideally.